All right, so um, my name is Danny with the Abolitionist Society of San Luis Obispo County, and I'm going to present Operation Snowball. Um, we just flew across the country to Washington, D.C. to stand with 150 abolitionists um, from all over the nation. And it was a great time, and it's so uh, rewarding to be with other abolitionists. Uh, while there, I saw that we had 10 of us from California. I didn't even uh, kind of put it together that we all lived in the same state. Um, so once I realized that, I thought, hey, we need, now's the time, we're going to do our petition in California, we need to get the people uh, that are scattered throughout our state working together and building the movement here. And um, if, you're, if you know about a snowball, all you take is a little bit of, of snow, you get, get some momentum behind it and keep it rolling and it just builds and builds and builds exponentially and so it is uh, it's something we start with a little and we give it some momentum and it should build uh, itself as we keep it going so that's the idea behind this is to take the little resource we have to meet together and as we do that to build our, um, our movement uh, to abolish abortion here in California so there's a lot of work to do to, um, to get the petition done. We need to meet people. We need to set up places to, um, uh, to be as depots where they're going to pass out petitions, collect petitions, um, announce the petitions. You know, all of those things, we've got to set a whole infrastructure in place, and we just need people to do that in order to get this work done. So that's what these conferences are about, as well as teaching abolition. Um, we want to host these conferences in churches if, if we can. So anybody, you know, any abolitionist, where you are, if you have a church, ask the pastor, hey, can we have your church for Saturday afternoon and have a conference to talk about abolishabortionca.com and our petition to end abortion. So the idea of, um, of the Operation Snowball, we've really already started. Um, on November 5th, I had a conference here in Cayucas, California. Um, and we had about 42 people there. At that conference, I told all those 42 people all about abolition, all about what we're planning to do, um, what I know that needs to get done, and asked them for their help. And I also asked them to come to the next conference on, in January 14th. That's a tentative date, but um, it's not 100% confirmed. But January 14th, 2017, I asked all those people to come to Bakersfield for the next conference that we're going to have. Um, and that's the idea of building this movement. So if we can have the 40 people that came to Cayucas um, come to Bakersfield, and Bakersfield has 40, we can have a movement that grows to 80 um, within a few months. And um, hopefully have some other conferences even in between there. If there's someone that wants to have a conference, I think we can do these conferences um, monthly or bi-monthly. Um, I think since we're close enough in California, we have lots of people and lots of people to talk to. If we got a pocket of 10 people that are willing to listen, um, if you got a group of people that you can gather at a church or at your home, we can have these conferences. People need to hear from us and from others um, what abolition is, and they also need to be able to ask questions and hear the answers. And it's good to have a lot of different perspectives um, when we're answering questions. And also, us as abolitionists need the fellowship. Um, that's one of the most uh, beneficial things of going to a conference, is to have fellowship with other like-minded believers that are working um, for the Lord to bring the gospel into conflict with child sacrifice. So we want to build that um, relationships, and we want to build that unity that we're going to need if we're going to abolish abortion in California. So our next conference is in Bakersfield, in middle of January sometime, we think maybe the 14th, um, and then from there we want to go to another place um, relatively quickly. Uh, it could be late January or it could be early, um, early February, um, because my goal is to have 90 abolitionists in California um, by the time Los Angeles has a national conference. And I think they're having that in the middle of February. So we want to try to rally 90 people from our state to go to Los Angeles' conference to do the abolition work there. 
Um, and the goal being by the end of the year, uh, by the end of 2017, we have a thousand people in California doing this work. And then by the goal of 2018, we have at least 10,000 people in California doing this work. So we need the people, uh, we want to find them, we want to do this work. And I think this is, as we move through the state, we go to Bakersfield, I've talked with people in Stockton, I've talked with people in San Jose, um, I plan to talk with people in, in uh, Hemet and Santa Ana, and try to have conferences just constantly through the year building uh, the movement up. And I'm asking everybody in California to try to make it, it's, it's, it's a day trip, uh, on a Saturday come down to a conference, go to that conference, and then go home. Um, and it should be inexpensive and it should be um, really beneficial for all of us who are doing this work um, and to grow the movement. So, I think, uh, now these conferences, uh, this is, these are, uh, the one thing I think we need to think about is that these are not abolitionist conferences, meaning they're not conferences for abolitionists. They are conferences about abolition. So, we want to invite the whole community to these conferences. Here in, um, in uh, the Central Coast, we invited no less than 20 churches. Uh, we invited you know, uh, thousands of people via Facebook and friend requests. Um, we've, we've invited you know, as many people as we can to get them to the conference. And so the conference is going to be the basics of abolition, the, the uh, bill, what we're trying to do with the petition, and uh, in question and answer so we can talk with people. So that's what we're trying to do and um, I ask that you join us. I ask that you uh, pray for this work to get done and uh, and let's you know let's be Christians uh, standing up in our culture against um, child sacrifice. So thank you for listening. May God be with us and go before us.